today's video, I'll be showing you how to perform what's called a DFU restore from iPhone 8 to 13 series. As of this recording, that's the latest series. 7 and 7 Plus have a different method, uh, and basically the 6S series and before have a different method. Things you're gonna need. The phone, obviously. Uh, a cable to connect to your computer. Doesn't have to be a Mac, it can be a Windows. Uh, just something with iTunes. If you don't have iTunes, download iTunes. Pretty straightforward. Um, it's a free download. Um, newer versions of Mac OS will use Finder. Uh, pretty much you'll find this out. If you have a Mac, you'll find this out when you, when you plug it in. It's either gonna pop up in Finder or it's gonna pop up in iTunes. You'll usually be in this scenario for one of a couple of reasons. Either you don't know the passcode or it was guessed uh, incorrectly too many times, either by you or by your screen being defective. Uh, the unfortunate part is that this will delete all data on the device. If you have an iCloud backup, uh, you're fine. If you don't have an iCloud backup, uh, don't shoot the messenger. But as of now, uh, I don't see this changing anytime in the near future. Uh, but there's no way to recover the data to bypass. Um, Apple has a very black and white stance when it comes to security. Um, essentially, the way that they look at it is they would rather make it insanely difficult for the, you know, insanely difficult to, to, for a hacker to get in to, you know, get your data rather than leave a loophole. Because if there's a loophole, then it can be exploited. So don't shoot the messenger, but... I'll also mention uh, that this will not remove uh, any uh, activation, iCloud lock, or find my iPhone. Those are all, those three things are basically the same thing. Um, if you're buying a device off of somebody and they told you all you gotta do is factory reset it through iTunes, they're full of it, don't buy it, or just know that you're buying essentially a brick or a parts phone. So once again, um, performing a factory data reset a, through iTunes or through your computer will not remove activation lock. Also, um, if, there anything, if there's anything that I haven't gone over, uh, feel free to leave a comment down below. Um, I'd be more than happy to get back to you or just reach out to me personally. Um, I believe that I'm gonna make this video unlisted because uh, there are just tons of videos on YouTube that, um, that, are, that are about this. So I'm making this just for my customers. Um, but yeah, um, if you have any questions, either reach out to me, leave a comment. Um, also, leave a like, that helps. So here we go. Uh, we have our computer, we have our cable, we have our phone. We plug it in, and then we turn it off. Now, um, in this, we're just going to be pressing this button and this button, um, and I'll mention it as I go along, but we're holding this button for three seconds, then holding the power and home for seven seconds. Uh, and then on the, essentially by the end it'll be the 10th second, I will release the power button, continue to hold the home button. It's one fluid motion. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And then we'll notice this little message in my computer showed up. Um, so for the iPhone 7, um, we're gonna be using the power and volume down. Uh, so we're gonna be pressing the power button for three seconds, then power and volume down for seven seconds. Um, and then at the, end of that, uh, at the end of that, we're going to release power, continue to hold until the device boots into recovery mode. So we're gonna initiate by turning off the phone, by power volume down for a few seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm still continuing to hold. The device is now Again, we get our recovery mode. So, last but not least, we have an iPhone 10. Uh, bear in mind uh, the 8, 10, all the way through the as of now the 13 series. Uh, this is the same method. So, it's the simplest of all. You're basically just going to press volume up, down, and then hold the power button for about 20 seconds, and you do all of that within about a second and a half. So, in rapid succession. So up, down, and then hold. It's going to initiate power off. Just continue to hold, continue to hold. It's going to turn off. 
continue to hold, continue to hold. It's going to power back on, continue to hold. There we go. So we end up with, um, this step is basically the same. So you're going to uh, be greeted with this. Um, you need to do a DFU restore. Basically the option to update is out of the window. So we're just going to hit here, check. Yours might look slightly different, but you want to get to this where it says restore and update. Um, and it's always going to, so as of now, the latest uh, software version is 15.3. This will probably be something different in the future. But next, next. Now it's downloading here. Um, sometimes, depending on how fast your internet is, if it's really fast, then um, it probably won't do this, but if you have slower internet or I mean, honestly 29 minutes, um, the phone might go out of DFU mode and then it'll you know, turn on and be in regular mode. Um, just wait for the download to complete and then once it's complete, then put the iPhone back into DFU mode with a method I just showed you. Um, and then you know, click the restore and then restore an update. In this case, this is 1521. This is the last one. They're still signing for it. I'm more than likely going to ramp this up because this is slightly unnecessary for you to sit through the entire time, but it's going to do, you're going to see the progress bar. Just let it do its thing. 